Scott Ludlam What does his resignation mean for the Senate? Was Senator Scott Ludlam has made a shock announcement he is leaving the Senate. He is the second senator in WA from the last election to be taken out of the mix, after former One Nation Senator Rod Coulaton was ruled ineligible to stand due to bankruptcy. So what's going to happen next? What has Mr. Ludlam done wrong? Mr. Ludlam holds dual citizenship with New Zealand and Australia. Under Section 44 of the Australian Constitution, which governs eligibility for Parliament, people may be disqualified from election to either House if they have an acknowledgement of allegiance, obedience, or adherence to a foreign power, or is a subject or a citizen or entitled to the rights or privileges of a subject or a citizen of a foreign power. Dual citizenship on its own may not necessarily be the problem, the question is whether Mr. Ludlam took reasonable steps to renounce any foreign allegiances. He says he believed being naturalised as an Australian teenager accounted for his New Zealand citizenship, but has since been made aware this is not enough. Mr. Ludlam takes full responsibility for this oversight. What will the Senate do next? The Senate will have to consider a motion to send the decision on Mr. Ludlam's eligibility to run as an MP to the Court of Disputed Returns. The Greens will not challenge the motion or the process in court. Who is Scott Ludlam? Scott Ludlam built a reputation as an outspoken fighter for online privacy rights, national security, and environmental causes. The situation is similar to what happened with former Senator Bob Day last year, although this did not turn on citizenship. Mr. Day resigned, but questions had already been raised about his eligibility, and so the Senate referred the decision to the court. In Mr. Ludlam's case, only the 2016 Senate decision is expected to be affected, even if the court were to find he was never eligible. The only vacancy that would require filling would be his place in the current Senate. Who will fill Mr. Ludlam's spot? It's hard to know how long the determination by the Court of Disputed Returns could take. If he is found to be ineligible, under Section 15 of the Constitution, a consequential vacancy would need to be filled. Analysis from Insiders host Barry Cassidy The important thing to keep in mind is it will not change the balance of power. If they follow normal proceedings, then the Green Senator will be replaced by another Green Senator. They don't lose a number but they lose a talented Senator. In recent times, we have seen from Scott Ludlam that he can be brilliant at times in committee hearings and he has a searing sense of humor as well which cuts through. It would be open to the Greens to use, likely replacement Senator Jordan Steele John, as a seat warmer and then bring Scott Ludlam back into the Senate at another stage. I am not suggesting that might happen but it is open for them to do that. Senator Ludlam, is a very well regarded senator and I think certainly Greens supporters around the country will be in quite a state about this at the moment. Watch Barry Cassidy's full analysis. It is not expected to require a spill of all 12 positions for WA. The party believes the IC would run the count to determine who the next person elected would be assuming Mr. Ludlam's name were not on the ballot and that all the other elected senators retain their places. The person who receives enough of the votes would then hold the place vacated. Fellow Greens WA Senator Rachel Seward was next after Mr. Ludlam on the ticket, and candidate Jordan Steele John was third. While the preferences do not necessarily flow to those two positions, it could be assumed most Greens supporters would send their second and third preference choices to the Greens number two and three candidates. Has this happened before? William Robert Wood was elected to Australian Parliament in 1987 as a NSW senator. The High Court declared his election invalid after it became clear he was not an Australian citizen at the time of his election, when he applied for an Australian passport some months after taking office. 